So we've got the pretty large background set up as good as it gets now. You got three IKEA tables, a large sheet of plywood, a 10 by 20 linen, a large 10 foot tall, 12 foot wide background. My normal Lego background working as the uh, side. A couple tables to hold pieces of moss. <laughs> My tripod looks tiny. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. I'm ready to bring over some uh, Lego creations here. Okay, so the landscape is pretty much put in. Um, there's a few lines, nothing too serious. Let me see one over here. That's better. Yeah, amazing. It still held up even after several moves and over a year and a half of construction. So next we're gonna slap that castle on there, that little piece of mountain over there, that uh, ramp and uh, put some trees and mini pigs on and we'll uh, see if I can get some decent photos of this thing while the cloudy sky is still here. All right, probably another time-lapse clip next here. Okay, so the castle is on there. It looks pretty good. Some parts of it look better than others. Two problem areas that I've encountered upon setting it up would be there's a small crack under this foundation. This bridge is actually pushing into that tower, causing it to lean backwards a little bit. I think there's also some compression going on inside the foundations of that section right here. So that's probably causing that. And then over here, got a bit of a gap between the gate and the angled wall. Um, I think it's because this corner is a little bit higher and there's some pushing down here. So it's just not quite meeting up as nicely as I once did. However, I don't think there's any time to really fix that. And if you're standing in the right area when the picture is taken, can't really see them, so not too worried about it. Worst case scenario, I can edit the cracks a little bit so they seem a little less glaring. Yep, all right, so a uh, piece of rock, some trees, some minifigures, and we are almost done, almost ready for photos. Thankfully, it's still very cloudy out. All right, guys, I got the few trees and minifigures I had built put in. They don't look half bad when they're all lined up like that. Got the foresters enjoying all their gold down there. One keeping lookout up here. We got the peasants toiling on the land. One always seems to have gotten the day off he's fishing. A few sheep. Guards up in the castle. In the courtyard. It's also worth mentioning, I made two or three, I think it's three, very simple courtyard buildings to give it something. So now it looks sort of lived in versus completely empty like before. The keep is uh, pretty much new from when I was doing videos, so that's nice. It really helps with the composition here, I can show you. So now instead of the gate being the only thing on that side, there's a huge tower. Like if you go down here, bingo. This looks good with that in the background. You can see right there. 
it is. Thank you.